Hi there, so in today's video we're going to look at 15 words that I hear mispronounced almost all the time. I can guarantee that there is at least one word here that you mispronounce, so make sure you stay until the end just to check. Maybe you're okay, we'll see. But do stay until the end because these ones are very, very, very commonly mispronounced. So before we get started, welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. If you are brand new to my channel, then hello, my name is Emma. And if you're interested in improving your pronunciation or your accent, particularly with British English, then consider subscribing to my channel where I post new videos every single Friday. So the first word here is pronunciation. Pronun pronunciation. Now a lot of people say pronunciation, even natives. So if you say pronunciation, you're not alone. Natives do it as well. Pronun, pronun, pronunciate. So the stress is there. Pronunciation, pronunciation. While we're here, I also want to mention about the verb to pronounce. It is not pronounce, pronoun, pronoun, pronounce pronounce. The next one is certificate. Certificate. Cut. Notice that I'm not saying certificate. Certificate, which is what a lot of students do. Certificate. So that ending is very weak. It's with a schwa. Certificate. This one is super important to get right. A lot of students move the stress and they accidentally say impotent, which means something completely different. I will let you Google that one. Important, important. The stress is on the second syllable. That's very important to know. Important, important. The next one is heart. Now in British English, we don't pronounce the R. Heart, R. Heart. A lot of students say hurt, my hurt, but that's a different word. Heart, heart. This one is iron. Now in British English, it is pronounced differently to an American English, so that R is not pronounced in British English. Do be aware of that. Iron, iron, not iron, iron. The R is completely removed. Iron. Recipe recipe, recipe, not receipt, careful, recipe. Now this one gets confused with recipe quite a lot and it's receipt, receipt. Now the P is completely silent in this one, don't ask me why it's there, it's just there. Receipt, receipt, remove that P, receipt. Colonel, Colonel. It's not a common word, but it is one that people come across from time to time, especially if they watch a lot of TV series and films. It's not colonel, so that first L is silent. Colonel. Cur. Er. So it's the same sound as in girl, okay? Colonel. Colonel. Remove that first L. It's completely silent. <laughs> Forget it. Chaos. Chaos. Chaos, not chaos. Don't be influenced by the spelling here. K, K, chaos, chaos. Be very careful with that one. This is a common one. Fruit, fruit. People again, they get influenced by the spelling and they say fruit, fruit. But forget that I, it's just the long oo. Fruit, fruit. Would you like some chocolate or chocolate? No. Chocolate. Chocolate. There are just two syllables in English. There are not three. Chocolate. And notice that second one. It's not late and it's not lat and it's definitely not latte. Chocolate. Lit. Lit. It's with a schwa. Okay? Chocolate. Chocolate. Another one. I hear this pronounced as comfortable and comfortable quite a lot. Comfortable. Comfortable. How many syllables am I pronouncing this with? Three. Comfortable. Comfortable. Comf. Umf. You see, I very quickly transition there from that m to the f. Comf. Umf. <laughs> Comfortable. Three syllables. Comfortable. Colleague. 
colleague. This is not the same as college, which a lot of people pronounce it like. College is the place where you study. Colleague is the person you work with. Colleague. Colleague. Psychology. Psychology. A lot of students pronounce that P-S-Y as C and they say psychology. Psychotherapist, for example. I'm a psychologist, but it's not C, it is Psy. That beginning, P-S-Y, is always Psy in English. Psychology, psychotherapist, psychotherapy, psychologist, they're all with Psy. And the last one, probably the most commonly confused and mispronounced one, is entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. No, entrepreneur. So that ending, uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. I hope this video has helped you a lot with your pronunciation and any words that you may be mispronounced. Do let me know below which words did you mispronounce from the video? Were there any or did you get them all right? If you got them all right, perfect. Let me know in the comments as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, then do subscribe to my channel. Remember, I post videos every single Friday. Also, don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and you've learned something new. It's just a free way to help me out. I hope you have a lovely week. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.